wielding piece is so important to me because Cameron was my brother. It was like his baby, it was his project. We had talked about it a lot before he passed. His face lit up, I swear. And um, he was like, I have this really cool idea. I really am excited about it. He just talked about how heartbroken he is about all of the mass shootings and all of the gun conversation. He really did want to do something about it. And he started talking about what if we talked about creativity and using expression as a weapon as opposed to actual violence. And he was talking about, you know, holding a guitar, like holding a paintbrush. And I just remember being like, yeah, hell yeah, that's a great idea. Wielding peace to me is all about taking any sort of negativity, anything that is affecting you in a way that you wouldn't like it to, and putting it into something that makes you feel good and something that makes you feel positive and productive. People have to go through things that will make them angry, will make them sad, will make them upset. And I think it's really important to teach people how to use all of that feeling and put it into something that will be healing and not dangerous, not violent, no bursts of anger, just something that is productive and creative and fun. I chose a hair dryer, a blow dryer. It's ironic though because I don't use hair dryers. I chose it because I really do believe that putting on something you love or making your hair a certain way or doing your makeup a certain way is just such a fun and like important way to learn about yourself. I think the most rewarding part about this whole project is to carry on Cameron's activism, continuing what he started. He really enjoyed being an actor. He loved that it gave him a platform and somewhere to express his ideas because there were people listening to him. He did have attention and he thought, if I have all this attention, I'm going to use it for the better. I'm going to use it for my advantage and I'm going to say what I want to say about love and positivity and creativity and expression. And unfortunately, I think after he died, that was the most eyes on him and on us as a family, which is backwards, I think, but now that we have all the attention, we're gonna use it to our advantage and really tell people what he wanted to say and what we need to say. Young people must be vocal about gun violence, especially people my age. We're the next voters, we're the next lawmakers, and if people right now who are up at the top, the leaders of today aren't really pushing for change, then we have to be the ones to push for change. We have to. Thank you for watching Refinery29. If you want to watch more videos, click up here. If you want to subscribe, click down there. And uh, send us pictures of you wielding peace, hashtag wielding peace. I'm going to be looking at them. Thanks. <laughs>